What's up guys, Tank Washington bringing you another one. Let me start off by saying Happy New Year to everyone. It's great to see you all back here again. And today, we're gonna to talk a little bit about homemade case lubes. Now, a few years ago, I made this video on my old YouTube channel. When I found out about people making their own case lubes at home with alcohol and lanolin oil, I was very interested in it. But the problem I had is that where I live, lanolin oil is not something that is extremely accessible. So I did some research, crunched some numbers, and I found out that a good alternative oil to the lanolin oil was mineral oil. It had a similar property when it comes to forming a mixture, how well it would mix with the alcohol. Well, the video got a lot of feedback, good and, well, I won't say bad, more or less constructive criticism because I learned some things that I did not know. Petroleum-based products are primer killers, or so some would say. But at the time, like I said, I didn't know that. Now, I've never had an issue with it. There were several other people that commented on the video said they never had an issue with petroleum killing their primers or they having, you know, misfires. Well, I went back to the drawing board after a long hiatus, <laughs> but uh, I found that an alternative to mineral oil is this. Good old castor oil. Now, castor oil, unlike mineral oil, is plant-based. And in my opinion, it mixes a lot better with the alcohol. And from what I've seen, as you can see from that yellow substance right there, it doesn't separate. Or since I made that one, it hadn't separated. So basically what I'm gonna do for you today in this video is show you how I mix that one up. Here we go. Now before, like I said, I used to use mineral oil and 91% isopropyl alcohol. Now, a lot of people said that the 91% wasn't enough. There's too much water in it. You know, this, that, and the third. The only thing that that means is that it will take longer for the alcohol to flash and leave the oil on the cases. Now, flash, that just means how long it takes for it to absorb. The more water, the longer the flash period. So we're gonna move these out of the way. Now I use castor oil and isoheat. Isoheat is 99% isopropyl alcohol and a 1% fuel injector cleaner. Um, I don't remember the name of the injector cleaner, but I do remember that it is petroleum based. But from what I've learned using the one that I previously made, there's not really enough of it in there to affect anything because I have had no issues whatsoever so far. So basically what we're going to do, get our handy spray bottle. Okay. Open up the heat. And we're going to pour the entire contents of the bottle of heat into the spray bottle. Be careful not to spill anything. It's going to give us approximately 12 ounces of isoheat and we want a ratio of about 12 to 2 so I'm going to put in two ounces of the castor oil and bring our total up to 14 ounces okay once that's done just cap back on your castor oil cap back on your spray bottle and give it a good shake to mix all the ingredients up. And we're done. Now we're gonna move these out of the way. And what I have here is a test batch of a mix of 223 and 308 shell casings. 
now that this is settled and it's all mixed together swirl it again just for good measure and we're going to give this bag a light spritzing as soon as we can get things to start spraying there we go give the bag a light spritzing set this over to the side close the bag up and move the cases around to get them well coated You can leave them in the bag if you want. I prefer just to give mine a little bit more air for the flash to take place. I dump them into a container. And in a few minutes, we'll be back to check on those and we will actually run them through the press and see how well the case loop works. Okay, it's been about eh, two, three minutes or so. And I think we are good to go. I move my press over and clear some of this stuff off. Oh, and to anybody wondering what this blue stuff is, this is the original mix that I did all those years ago with the uh, mineral oil and alcohol. Get close. As you can see, this stuff separates every single time, but a little shaking. And it goes right back to work. But that's not what we're here for today. All right, first up is the 223. Smooth as butter. This is darn near effortless, aside from me actually having to put the case on there and actually operate the press itself. I mean, <laughs> this is too easy. Where's the other one? And two more. Okay. Set you right there. That one went fine. And the last one just fell off my table, but that's okay. As you can see, works fairly well. So now we're gonna switch things up a little bit. I trust the 308 dies out. And for anybody who's wondering, this is a Lee single stage press that I'm using. Sizer, but case went in and came out almost effortless. <laughs> I need to put some grease on this thing or something. Just for good measure, I'm going to do a steel case. Oh. Gotta love it. Well, there you have it. Iso heat castor oil. Homemade case lube. Lanolin substitute for those that can't readily find it. And make sure if you go to the store and you use the heat, make sure it's the red iso heat. The other one is methanol, I believe. But again, Happy New Year. Good to see you here in 2020. Hope everybody's looking forward to a good year. And as always, thanks for watching.